There it is. If you've dabbled at all in urban exploration, or enjoy a good ghost story, you already know what this place is. Many people have been to this place over the years and explored the building. However, I wanted to try checking the place out for myself. In 1871, this plantation was bequeathed to the state of Alabama Board of Mental Health, as the previous owner had passed away. Here, they made a building to house the African American patients. Before this, the African American patients were housed in the lofts of a barn in the original mental hospital. In 1970, this location made headlines when a journalist paid a visit and reported on the awful treatment. They wrote, Human feces were caked on the toilets and walls. Urine soaked aging floors. Many beds lacked linens. Patients were sleeping on the floor. One small shower served 131 male patients and 75 female patients. Most of the patients were highly tranquilized and appeared to have not bathed in days. All appeared to lack any semblance of treatment. The stench was almost unbearable. Of course, it's that kind of treatment that would spell its downfall. Thanks to having such a bad past, people love to tell ghost stories of the place. That, and it's a mental hospital. I wasn't here for the ghosts though. I was here to see what this place was really about. But regardless of that, things were a little odd during our exploration that night. We began our exploration in the dead of night, watching for any police who might be keeping an eye on the area. Camera even pick that up. There it is. God, this place is a wreck, but that is extremely creepy. Guess we're going in. This place is a wreck, though. It, it really is. When I told you it was stripped out, take a look. Okay. Stripped out, busted up, everything. Tripping over stuff as I walk. It goes straight out. That's a rat. That's a rat? Like a little mouse or something? Mouse, yeah. You can tell people come here all the time. Okay, people have been throwing stuff down the stairs, though that wasn't there originally, obviously. What is that noise? I know this sounds crazy, but you almost hear something humming like something's running. Outside. Yeah. You hear that, right? What would be nearby that would be making that noise? Now I know this is going to sound all cliche because it kind of is, but people try to say this place is haunted. You know? Yeah. The typical stuff. I, see that, right? I mean, I could see it, yeah. I can see why. But I think we're more at risk of people being here than ghosts, to be honest. hit my head. What? Oh my. Did you hear that? What the? That was loud. Couldn't just been a coincidence. 
right? Could have just been something falling, but uh, I didn't like that in particular. I'm gonna have a little bit more of a look around at the first floor. Yeah. This is still more towards the noise though. There's not a lot to see in this place. Old bathrooms and stuff. That's the that's the uh, direction right there. The noise came from. That was pretty loud though. Not really sure what that was. Jesus Christ! Look what they did to the stairs. A bird's nest up there too. Makes me wonder what this place looked like when it actually had stuff in it. Mm -hmm. This is weird. So it's weird? Yeah. What about it specifically? Just the setting. The setting? Yeah. And just how it looks. It's a stripped out asylum. So, you can see how that could be creepy. I feel like that noise could have been anything. If that if that was a person, they're in the pitch black out there. Yeah, and they haven't made another noise since if that it was a person at all. We got little actual light switches here. Oh my god, dude. Quentin, mm -hmm. I went to flick this and like the paint just came off. It just actually came off. Am I seeing things? I think I actually am. I think it was just a shadow, but it looked like someone ducked behind something. Did you hear that? I think that crash might be getting under our skin though. <laughs> Okay, up or down? Up. Up. We'll have to check out the basement though. These are hard to walk up. Oh my god. was a mouse. Scampered that way. There's another floor up. Wow. Okay. Uh, for the way this feels, it feels like walking through a haunted house as opposed to like exploring an abandoned place. <laughs> There's so many like corners around here. There's an old sink. You hear what I was hearing? I don't even know how to describe what I was hearing. It's like a I don't know how else to say it. it's like a wub wub kind of noise. 
like very quiet. Yeah. Um, That's what I was talking about. Is that it's picked up? It sounds something like electrical. like two noises but they sound close together but I don't know what the hell that could be we're at like a dead-end street at an old asylum <laughs> kind of does but they wouldn't have the siren no. out of this old place what are we gonna steal the bricks no it just sounds like in the distance <laughs> yeah siren test or something not yeah, it's not. I, I don't really know what it is. It just sounds kind of electrical. That's all I know. What is this? Oh, it goes outside. Of course it does. Okay. That looks safe. Can I walk close to that? It just goes down. Just a, like a collapse. I'm up there too. Like it went through two floors. And we're standing right And we're standing right here. Yeah. Just probably back up. This does not feel like a typical urbex thing. No. This is creepy. <laughs> yeah. Like this is creepier than the first place. It feels like, it literally feels like we came out here and they're like, here's a haunted house, check it out. Like that's just what it feels like. I feel like I really am here and thanks. Like, I guess for context for the video, it was raining for hours. Now it's misty. Yeah. There's a lot of water dropping out there, so uh, it sounds kind of like footsteps sometimes. Okay. Third floor. The stairs are just dirt. Like this is actually just dirt. I wouldn't shine it too much to the left behind us. Oh, yeah. We're on the third floor and we got a good view of the street now. We can go take a look at the window in a sec. Guess I just wanted to see this side. This, what does that look like? The ground? Just a roof. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude. This is weird looking. Look at this. It's a roof, but it looks like the ground. Looks like the ground. Just the roof. By the way, probably shouldn't walk up here. Yeah. See a hole. Yeah. Hole. It's weird being able to like see the street. This abandoned asylum. Did you see the, the old security Old security camera? Oh, yeah, like on the ground. Oh, it's all electrical over there. Where's it at? Uh, in the bathroom. The up here. Oh, this? 
Wait, what? Oh, it's not a camera. Look at that you camera. fooled me. You <laughs> made me think that was a camera. I was, was I got thick. excited. Yep, that's the other staircase. Was a staircase. I am apparently going to die down here. It is quiet down here though. Probably just water. Door to the outside. Another door to the outside. Granddaddy knows all. It's not just the water. Hope so. It did just come from upstairs. That's a weird then because we were just up there. That's too open down here. Too many doors. Yeah. That's what I thought it was. Like it's sound of water all down here it's dripping everywhere you can see straight up there wow look oh, yeah. somebody could just look down on us I think we've seen about everything yeah. let me take a quick look over here oh look you can see the original tiling without a bunch of dirt all over it, the actual floor back around. So, up until this point, besides that crash that happened earlier, nothing really seemed too off. I mean, there was that sound that Quentin thought was a footstep from upstairs, but it was at this moment that I thought things got really strange, as the temperature in the entire building seemed to suddenly drop and it got incredibly cold. There's a weird, like, cool breeze in here. You feel that? Didn't feel it before? I didn't either. Just suddenly got cold. Let's get out of here. 
Yeah, it got cold in here too. It was not cold in here like this. Why is it cold? Alright, that's weird. That is really weird. It was not this cold a second ago. It's pretty warm in here, surprisingly. It's cold up here too. Now I'm not like a big like like over the top paranormal guy. Yeah, you know? no, but that was that, heard, this is weird. I heard that thump up from here. Like maybe up here. It sounded like it was to the left. It's like getting like colder in here. Those headlights look like they're about to turn down this road. Right as I was shining my light down there. Oh, I think it's so cold. Yeah, why is it? I'm gonna take one more shot in this area real quick, and then we're gonna move on. Okay. What? It's warmer outside than it was, than it was in inside. There. Yeah. And it's like misty and stuff out here. That was weird. It got cold. Yeah, it wasn't like that in the beginning. I'm gonna see the building back there. Wow. You know, when you think of like structurally sound, you probably look at this building. This place is open too. Like really open. Where's the front doors? Oh, Whoops. That's kind of eerie. There's the cell doors down there. Oh yeah. You can hear the water. This doesn't seem like it... Was this confinement? Was this like a... I think so. Anyway. Wait, it might have just been one room at one point, actually. I think there was like a wall right here at some point. It was a tile wall. It looks like it had to be separated. There were two doors, too. Yeah, I think somebody just knocked down a whole wall at some point. You know, I'm not too awfully familiar with it, but why does this seem like these are lead paint walls? It could be. Moth. Yeah. I think these are lead paint walls. It looks like, like they say it looks like alligator skin, I believe, like reptile skin. Kind of looks like that. Yeah.
felt like, you know, somebody might be hiding back here. Kind of what my brain was telling me. Look at this real quick. Look, it's like the courtyard. Courtyard right here. Kind of creepy. Just go stand in the middle of the trees real quick. Is that hold on a minute what is that oh okay it just ends right there I thought it was gonna be like a whole sub level yeah I was hoping so <laughs> I was going to climb down there if it was. <laughs> oh! I just saw a bat fly from one side of that room to another. Pretty big bat too. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> That's a big room though. Whoa, hold on a minute. You can see where the fluorescent lights were still in this room. I think that, I'm not sure. That's a bird. We got bats, we got birds, everything. Okay, okay, All right, I'm gonna stop aligning. Oh, oh, not a, he's not happy. That bird is not happy. It's probably a swallow. I was gonna say that those fluorescent lights are the only lights I think I've seen in the whole place. I feel like, whoa. That thing is not happy right now. Should we leave this area? It's a cave swallow. Yeah, let's move. Oh my God. Dude, it keeps going. We could walk straight across. not where we entered through. No. Yeah, that's the hole. No, remember there were onions over there. Oh, this man. is a different spot. It keeps going. That one goes a little deeper. There's still no, nothing interesting down there, so. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's a computer monitor down there. It's that computer monitor? Yeah. Oh, it is. That thing's been long since smashed, though. Yeah. Like, you want to go all the way back to the first building, take a look around, and maybe exit this building? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They do have more stuff to do. After this. Yeah. And I think we've seen just about everything there is, to be honest. Unless you think there's more to be seen. <laughs> it's, dude, I, I don't even know what's the front door anymore. So many holes in the walls. I think that was the bat. Yeah, that's got to be the bat. Dude, it keeps going. It's like like a Scooby Doo scene. Look, is it gonna come back by again? I, 
Pff, wow. I did hear that. What was that? It wasn't the bird. I thought it was you for a sec. We need to get out of here anyways. <laughs> Too many animals. great place this was. Mind telling me why something creepy happens when we're like leaving? I know. What the fuck that I don't, I, dude, I thought it was like you making a noise for a sec, like I said, but then when you said it wasn't, like you said, did you hear that? I was like, uh. No, that was like down the hall. I know, but my brain kind of like just thought it was you. And I was watching the bat anyways. <laughs> so. That sounded like a high-pitched laugh that was trying to be kept quiet. Oh. There's a house over here. I got scratched by the brush. Mouth here, oh my god. Somebody would do that. What is this supposed to be? Like seriously, what was this? I think it was just maybe a house on the property, maybe security. Security, that's what, uh, kinda what I was thinking. I can see why people don't really check this out. Yeah. There's nothing in here. All right. Let's get out of here for real. Yeah. Still could never figure out what that humming noise was. I can still hear it. Yeah, I can hear it too. It's getting like more misty now. And I do, I just, I really don't like the fact that you thought you might have heard something like that down that way. I'm done with this place. It was pretty cool, but I'm kind of done with it now. I out of here. I don't even think the camera can see that. But the building's over that way. That mist is, yeah, you can see it on the camera. It's actually blocking most of the camera's view. We were in that asylum for over an hour. That did give me the creepy, creepy <laughs> Yeah, definitely a creepy place. Do I see an outline? Don't say that. actually really hard to see down there. That's our way out. Just keep a look up. I don't think there's anyone over here. I mean, you, you see it too. It looks kind of clear right now. Thank God. so yes. far yes okay 
Agreed. That was pretty eerie. That was funny. Especially at the end there. Yeah, when you said you thought you heard a laugh? Yep. 